Kentucky wants to make some noise in this 21st century, and the Kentucky Argonne National Battery Manufacturing Research and Development Center is going to help us do just that. By going beyond theoretical science to applied engineering, and by focusing those efforts in the area where economics, energy, and the environment overlap, the center will help Kentucky pursue two game-changing goals. First, to become a leader in national alternative and renewable energy issues. And second, to lay the groundwork for us to become one of the epicenters of next generation automobile manufacturing, just as we have been over the last decade in manufacturing the cars and trucks of today. But for the center to be as successful as we think it can be, it needs a leader, a leader with expertise, experience and credibility, as well as the vision, ambition, and energy to create a facility from scratch and push it to great heights. We have found such a person, and today we're formally announcing his hire. Dr. Ralph Braun, who wrote the proverbial book on advanced battery technologies, is the new and first director of the Kentucky Argonne National Battery Manufacturing Research and Development Center, and I'd like to welcome both him and his wife, Dorothy, to Kentucky. We're glad you're here. Now, I want to be honest with you. I'm amazed that I am standing here making this announcement today. I'm, I'm amazed because when I first called Ralph to talk about this job, it wasn't to interview him. I called asking him for names, for his suggestions about whom we should pursue. Because frankly, in my wildest dreams, I never imagined that we would be lucky enough to attract a person of his qualifications and reputation as the initial director of this center. But fortunately, it's been one of the few times I've been wrong. <laughs> Dr. Broad was very much interested and as you can see, he's very excited about this facility. I have no doubt that with help from state energy and economic officials, Argonne officials, and our university partners, he will hit the ground running. Why am I so confident? Dr. Broad has worked in the battery industry for over 40 years. His career has crisscrossed industry and government and has involved the research, development, commercialization, and marketing of battery and fuel cell technologies. He served as a technical advisor to and research reviewer for the National Research Council, the Federal Department of Energy, NASA, the National Institutes of Health, and the International Electro Electro Electrotechnical Commission. That's why he's the doctor. He also created and directed a consulting firm that specializes in technology assessment, strategic planning, and battery technology production and marketing. Dr. Broad owns five patents and has produced over 110 publications, including a handbook on batteries and fuel cells. I could go on and on about his experience in every facet of batteries, from carbon zinc to advanced lithium ion systems in rechargeable cells. But one of the most intriguing pieces of his resume is a study he completed in 2005 for the National Institute of Standards and Technology. It analyzed the reasons for the lack of volume lithium ion battery manufacturers in the United States. Or to put it another way, it sought to explain why the United States is falling behind in production of the technology that will power the cars of the future. Reversing that reality is the whole impetus behind the Kentucky Argonne Partnership and the facility we're building in Lexington to house it. As you might recall, I announced Kentucky's vision for this center in April of 2009. An economic development recruiting trip to Japan had crystallized for me the changing nature of the automobile business 
and the need for the United States to ramp up the development and production of advanced technology for the batteries that will one day power the cars that we drive. The end result is this center, a partnership among the state, Chicago-based Argonne National Laboratory, which is the nation's leading federal lab for transportation-related research and development, and the state's leading research centers, the University of Kentucky and the University of Louisville. The center's goal is to support the development of a viable U.S. battery manufacturing industry by focusing R&D efforts on the technologies that enable the production of competitive world-class battery products. It will do this by first facilitating collaborations between federal labs, universities, manufacturers, suppliers, and end users. Secondly, developing advanced manufacturing technology to reduce production cost. And third, accelerating the commercialization of technologies from national laboratories and universities. President Obama's stimulus package got this ball rolling, but there's a lot of work ahead. Success here in Kentucky will help secure U.S. energy independence and security. It will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help strengthen our economy. Kentucky currently ranks third among states in the production of cars and light trucks. Holding on to and improving that ranking will require us to move beyond the slot A into tab B mentality and into perfecting the technology of the future. Dr. Broad is the right person to direct this mission and we are thrilled to have him.